Hello and welcome to a new Google Sheets video in Practical Sheets. Today, I'm going to show you the basics of how to create QR code, what is a QR code, what it is good for, and we're going to create, have some URLs and show you a couple of formulas to create some QR codes on the fly, uh, and that it can work for any web page you have very easily. You don't need to go through an external service. You don't need any Google Apps script. You don't need to install anything. You just follow my instructions and you can have a very easy and quick QR generator for your tables. So before we begin, thank you to all my patrons and all my YouTube subscribers. If you want to become a patron, just go to the Patreon page in the description and you can download this template. And if not, you can just subscribe to my channel and this is a good way to support me also. Thank you so much and let's begin. We have some links. I'm shamelessly self-promoting myself. So this is my my Spanish blog and my YouTube channel and my membership site in Spanish. Hopefully I'll get the English one running before 2023 ends. And you're more than welcome to, to take a look. But what I want to do is to get these websites on a QR. So basically a QR code is a barcode that works with URLs. It may work with many other things. But the most practical use that we have found for it in the past years, it's a URL, a website. The nice thing about websites is that you can send some variables. So for example, if you have names, you have a Google Forms, you could send some arguments after the, um, the URL, and then you can do really, really nice things. For now, we're going to do step number one is that creating a QR, a very simple QR that will go to each of these sites. So I'm going to create a formula that you, that you can then drag down and it will work for any site. Okay, so how does QR works? You may look for Q uh, QR code in Google and you'll find a lot of sites that help you generate the, the codes, but not all of them will let you generate them with a formula. It's an API that works with a URL, a different URL from this one, but that will take whatever I give here and will create, will give the basis for creating the QR. Okay, so this is a two-step process. The first step process is that we will take this URL and insert it into another URL that will create the QR. And then we're going to use a formula that will take this new monster URL and transform it into an image. That is the QR that you can take the picture and go up there. Okay, so for the QR, there are many services that can help us, some paid, some free. We are lovers of Google uh, up until a certain point, not all of Google, but some of the productivity tools, you know. So we're going to use one API that belongs to Google and it's called chart.googleapis. This is used to make some charts, but the chart I'm going to use here is the QR. So I need this basic URL, including the question mark, and then I'm going to give some arguments. So let's begin with this. We're going to copy it, and then we're going to paste it here with an equal sign, some double quotation marks, then close the quotation marks, and then we have our first step. Now I need to give it some extra arguments that I can see here. The first one is the type of chart, chart type. This will be QR code. So this I will need it. So I'm going to put it here. After my quotation sign, I'm going to put CHT equals QR. Okay. Now I need a second argument that will be the width and the height. So this is CHS, the size of the chart. So, and inside width, we're going to put the width and inside the height, we're going to put the height. Okay, so after the QR, we're going to separate the arguments with an ampersand, then enter, and we're going to change width and height. Let's do 150 times 150 for now. Okay, that's it. Finally, I think I only need one more and it's the data the what data I'm going to encode here it says normally it will be a URL so I'm going to take this chl I'm not sure if the l stands for link 
and here I'm going to put another ampersand and then CHL and the data. And here it becomes a, a bit more about creating formulas in sheets because this data will be this web page. So I'm going to remove this data, put an ampersand here and concatenate with this one. Okay. And with the suggested auto field, now I have it for my three rows. What it is um, recommended to do is that you encode the web page. How did you encode it? With this encode URL formula. Okay. Especially if this is going to have a lot of weird symbols, it's good to use the, the encode URL. Here you can see that it removes and replaces some of the weirder symbols with some uh, notation that HTML can read a bit better. Okay, let's drag it down. Perfect. And now the last step is just to create the QR. So we're going to use this image function and image needs a couple of arguments. It could be only with one argument, the URL, and this could work well. So let's do it as it is. Click enter. And now I have my QR code. I bring it down and we have it. We can even work with this to, to bring it a bit down and we can have it much bigger. Then you can play with the with these 150 and 150 if you want it bigger or if you want it, you're going to print them, something like that. You can see here that the three QRs are different. So this is a sign that this may be going to where I want. So I'm going to show you my cell phone where I'm going to try to go to the QR. Okay, so I'm going to this first QR and we'll try it. It should go to my page juanesguzman.com. Let's see. And apparently it's working, okay? So this is it. This is what I wanted to show you, basically. We could play with the arguments. For example, this 150 and 150. Here we, we are, we're going to rename these sheet QRs and we're going to have one that is called arguments, maybe. And here we could have white uh, width and height. Normally it should be square, so it doesn't make much sense that the width and the height are different, but you could play with that. So what I could do here is I'm going to remove this 150. I'm going to put just a couple of, of quotation marks and an ampersand here. And I'm going to remove this 150 and replace it with this here. Okay, for now it will damage because I haven't I haven't written anything here. So I'm going to change it to 100 times 100. And the other one will be the same here. I'm going to change this to quotation marks and ampersand and to quotation marks and ampersand. So now I'll remove this 150 and go here and put the head. And I could put this with F4 for an absolute reference. And now drag it down again. And if I want to change, I only change this. If I want 300, then 300 times 300. And, but it depends on the type of image you have put in the function form in the image form formula. So I put, I didn't put anything, but you could put here a mode. Here are some of the modes. One is to fit inside the cell. That is the default one. Two, only uh, stretches to fit inside the cell. Three, it goes to the original size. And four, you could put a size. Okay, so let's play with this a bit. If I put one, it will change a bit. If I put two, it will stretch the image depending on the width of your column. So this is no good. Three, it goes up until the original size of the image. So this is no good also, depending on the case. Normally one will work well, okay? What we could do here is maybe do a vertical align. And here we could do some, in both of these, we could do some text wrapping. 
something like this we could do especially if you want to print this this could work great finally i'm going to do one thing and is that if i put a new url then i want it to uh, automatically bring down the the qr and that i don't have to do it manually so what i could do is i'm going to take these two formulas and i'm going to drag it down with another advanced function called array formula so i'm going to step inside of here i'm going to say to encode the url from a2 up to a this means up to the last row we have and i'm going to hit ctrl shift enter so that it this automatically writes this array formula outside i could do it manually but it's easier with ctrl shift enter and then i have to to remove this error i have to delete the two ones that i have written manually here and now it works perfectly almost perfectly because here now i have a url that doesn't have anything so to remove that i could do inside here i could say that if this uh, column a in each of the rows is empty then don't do anything so let's say if a2 up to a the same as i have here in my encode url if a2 to a equals to blank then leave this blank put just nothing and if so if it is something then you will put the formula okay and now i remove this i'm going to do exactly the same here i'm going to do image b2 up to b Control shift enter to the dra formula hit enter again i'm going to remove these two and i think now if i put anything else the image automatically will go down okay maybe i could center this and maybe we could do a macro so that it automatically adjusts the the row or something like that this is the part we would have to do manually now let's keep a bit of format i'm going to remove all of these columns Control minus maybe i could do a bit shorter the qrs just a bit better the same here and i could bring a zoom down and now this looks really good finally if you don't like this qr link we could include it in inside our qr so i'm going to duplicate this sheet because there may be people that 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 like the QR link also so I'm going to leave this QR simplified so I'm going to remove only this part the chart up until here until the encode URL and I'm going to insert it inside my image up to here hit enter I'm going to remove the only thing about this is that I would need to also include this if statement that I that I did for the for the URL. So here before the image, I'm going to put this if hit enter, it will automatically close the the parentheses. I'm going to remove this column and it looks much nicer, much simpler. I like this better because I like to see the process, but maybe you don't and you prefer to have it much, much simpler. So this could work better. Okay. I will leave both just to if anything is wrong, it's easier to check here and then leave it like it is or you can just hide this column but this is much much nicer much much cleaner much more professional okay okay so this is the way to massively generate qr without having to go each time to a qr generator or something like that now you with every new web page you can have your qr so you can if you go to my patreon page you can download this template and you can use it for any of the web pages you have and then we can do some more advanced tutorials when we can do it with Google Forms and with more advanced URLs. So we can do, for example, assistance and inventory and things like that. So thank you for watching. Thank you for my Patreons and all the people that support me. If you're subscribers to the channel, thank you. Thank you so much. And if you want to subscribe, just hit the subscribe button. And if you want to go to the Patreon page, you can support me there also where you'll find all the templates and you can ask me any question. Thank you so much. See you next time.